The biggest mistake that I see uh, Florida boaters, especially with single engines doing, is docking and maneuvering and not keeping enough momentum on the boat. You get a little bit of wind and things get kind of scary in a real quick hurry. So right now I don't have a lot of momentum. I have wind blowing me back. I'm kind of lost the bow to the wind. It's going turning around. And remember from our other videos, we always want to have our nose into the wind. It makes the docking procedure much, much easier. But what I see a lot of times, and especially at our floating dock because the wind bounces off the building, is people will get sideways to the dock like I am right now. And what ends up happening is they'll drive, they keep driving towards the dock, then they realize that they can't go there, so they back up, they turn away, and you'll usually see a lot of power. And then now they didn't go anywhere except straight back. So then they turn and they try to go to the dock again, but now they're so close they can't get anywhere. So you just keep going back and forth in a back, back and forth moment, moment, and you're trying not to hit the dock. Guys, the best approach is the best docking. So what this tells me is I had a really, really poor approach. What I need to do is back away, get myself lined up again. Once I'm lined up, then I can give it some gas and go towards the dock, get my nose upwind. Once I'm upwind, get it going, shift into reverse, a lot of reverse, turn towards the dock, and we're gonna, we're gonna make a bad approach, end it, and start with another good approach. And now you can come back to the dock. We're docking in sideways and putting the boat up nice and tight. We're squaring it off so we're ready to cleat. Remember, bad docking all starts with a bad approach. Make a good approach, have a planned approach, and as the captain of the boat, make sure everybody on board knows what they're going to do and what their process is in the docking maneuver. Thanks for your time. Safe boating.